gleaming shopping malls greet people in Arab towns in northern Israel, usually associated with conservative Islam. Restaurants advertise in Hebrew and Arabic. Over the last week, televisions have been tuned to Al Jazeera, broadcasting horror from Gaza. It makes us all as human beings all over the world look horrible. I don't believe in humankind. I don't. I think dogs are better. Israel's Arab citizens make up a fifth of the population of the state. More prosperous, educated, and Israelified than their kin in the West Bank and Gaza, they are becoming more Palestinian at the same time. Among Israel's Jewish majority, support for the war in Gaza was overwhelming. But here on the other flip side of Israel, the Arab citizens are hurting and seething against the state. Israel said its campaign was designed to minimize the threat from Hamas. An Arab was one of the three Israeli civilians killed in rocket attacks. But with more than 1,300 reported dead in Gaza, including hundreds of women and children, largely Israel said, because Hamas fighters hid among them, Israel's Arabs hardly sympathized with the goal. People are dying there every day. Thousands of people have already died. Like, this is a disaster. Like, you can't this, like, I feel like this is the third Holocaust, like the Jews don't feel it. In some ways, the Arab Israelis displayed exemplary patience. When the second Palestinian uprising broke out in September 2000, fierce rioting broke out in the Arab sector, and 13 civilians were killed by the police. This time, when more limited numbers of protesters rioted, both Arab community leaders and the police exercised restraint. Some Arab Israelis said they did not join the protests, believing it would not bring about any change. What am I going to do standing in a junction? Is that going to do the difference? Come on, don't be cynical to me. Don't play around with me. I know it won't work. Palestinian flags and posters for the war in Gaza are seen around Arab communities in northern Israel. The animosity was mutual. Israeli officials disqualified two Arab parties from elections on February 10th. The move is expected to be overturned by the Supreme Court. Nobody will accept to be occupied and to be oppressed. And one day, the next intifada will be here in 48, and not in Gaza, and not in, uh, in the West Bank. Polarization between Israel's Jews and Arabs occurs in every war. But the effects from Gaza, closer to home and broadcast on television, may last longer.